welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for the support i really appreciate you much guys i don't take you for granted and god bless you if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so friends i want you to grab a glass of wine a glass of water a glass of juice popcorns anything that will keep you company while watching today's video because today's video is going to be very very interesting because it is a story time so in our today's story i'm going to be sharing with you a story time of a kenyan lady who left her husband just because of her friends as we are talking right now she is about to be deported that is why i told you in today's story you are going to learn a lot of things and when i reached out to her to ask her to give me the permission to share this story she accepted and said yes bella i agree with you you should share my story so that other ladies can learn from this and don't make the same mistakes like i did so guys before i share with you our today's story let us sip some juice I am back guys, I am back. <laughs> so uh, today's story starts when Loveness, this Kenyan lady, her name is Loveness, and when she found love on online dating apps with her Muzungu husband, the white husband, <laughs> she was 24 years of age. So before finding love on online dating apps, Loveness was just a young lady, single, and had a friend who was married to a white guy. So she found that kind of relationships very cool, and she was like, how did you find your husband, <laughs> this white guy? So the friend told her that I found my husband on online dating apps, and that is when Loveness decided to join on online dating apps so that she can join the Muzungu's wife's world. <laughs> In Tanzania, they say Muke ya Muzungu. She wanted to be in that world of being a Muzungu's wife. <laughs> Friends, Loveness joined that dating app that the friend recommended to her and was very, very lucky that in less than two weeks, she was chatting with a serious guy already. This guy was from Belgium, but living in Kenya. You know, when you're searching on a dating app and pops up the white guys, that are in africa already so this guy was already in kenya for four months so guys because they were both in kenya after chatting for three days everything was going very well there was no need to keep on wasting time chatting on online dating apps they decided to exchange phone numbers then fixed for the first meeting meet in person and that is how it went the first meeting was supposed to be at the restaurant in Nairobi and Loveness prepared herself to look cute you know that first meeting <laughs> and went guys when she arrived she had not talked to this guy on a video call so what she did so what she did after she had arrived she called this guy on his phone he picked and waved his hand like this hey i am here <laughs> so Loveness saw him and went where he was seated Loveness tells us that that restaurant was among of the best restaurants in Nairobi and she was never there. That was her first time to be there. So she was feeling very good. They started talking with this guy. This guy's name is Richie. So they started talking with Richie, discussing lots of things, of course, introducing themselves. <laughs> and Richie was like, I'm from Belgium. I've been here in Kenya for four months. I do not work. I'm still exploring the world. Guys, Richie was a rich kid. <laughs> just like his name and it is the father that was taking care of him of his expenses also loveness introduced herself and loveness wasn't working at that time so they continued their conversation everything went very well they took dinner and then they were served some ice cream as they were eating ice cream they were talking and richie was holding loveness's hand she felt like the guy is very very romantic so richie went to an extent of feeding loveness the ice cream <laughs> 
with his spoon and thank god there was no corona at that time <laughs> but loveness really loved that and that evening went very well that loveness never wanted it to end so guys their first meeting went very well loveness returned home the day ended as she reached home richie called her to ask her if she arrived safe she was like yes i arrived safe and he told her also that I like you very much and I would like to see you the next time. So friends, Loveness tells us that that night she slept very, very happy. And in the morning when she woke up, the first call was from Richie asking her, how did you sleep? <laughs> she felt very, very happy. I was like, oh my God, this guy is so caring. So they talked and Richie again told her that he would like to see her. But as you know, we ladies, we always like to play hard to get. So she started playing like hard to get and told Richie, I won't be able to see you today, but after three days, I will be free to meet you. Richie was so happy, told her that our second meeting, I would like you to come to my hotel where I am staying. So three days passed very fast that she promised that she would be free to meet him. <laughs> and she went to the hotel where Richie was staying. Do you know what will be next? Can you guess? <laughs> so they met in the hotel room and she gave her goodies. <laughs> After six days, in less than a week, guys, she gave her goodies to Richie. <laughs> guys, that day of the goodies, Loveness stayed for a night. <laughs> she slept there, guys. Till the next morning, that's when she returned home. And after returning home, they continued communicating. Everything was going very well. These people were crazily in love with each other. Loveness was 24, Richie was 26. So it's a young couple, guys. <laughs> Lovebirds. <laughs> guys, because these two were so much in love with each other, there was too much chemistry, they couldn't stay far away from each other. So after talking for a while, they came to an agreement that Loveness should go to Richie's hotel where he stays and stay there for a week so that they can have time for themselves, get to know each other more and more. Loveness says that it was a crazy thing to do, but because she was in love, she accepted, packed her bags, moved to the hotel where Richie was staying. Richie was very happy that Loveness has accepted to stay with him <laughs> and she tells us that the only thing they could do is eat, sleep and goodies. <laughs> Take breakfast, goodies, sleep a bit, wake up, eat lunch, <laughs> goodies, sleep like that guys for the whole week. That was the lifestyle. <laughs> they did that for that whole week and after a week, Loveness returned home. But again, Richie insisted that I want to stay with you. Please come back. <laughs> I think he enjoyed the goodies a lot. <laughs> That's why he did not want Loveness to stay far away from him. <laughs> So they planned again. Loveness went for another week. <laughs> it was the same kind of lifestyle. Eating, sleeping, goodies. <laughs> Which kind of a man wouldn't love that? Of course, every man would love that. <laughs> so friends, after staying together in the hotel for two weeks, they decided that they should look for an apartment and go live together and that's how they did guys they looked for an apartment then moved in together so guys they started living together and everything was very fine she tells us that she was living like she is in honeymoon <laughs> the kind of lifestyle that they were living and sometimes when she could want money richie could give her money without asking her you want this money for what something that she had never experienced in her past relationship <laughs> when she could ask money from the boyfriend the ex-boyfriend could be like you want this money for what 
and it could make her very very angry richie not asking that why do you ask me money for what made her very very happy and made her fall in love with him every day so guys they lived together for one year and i want to remind you that the kind of lifestyle that they are living richie is not working it is the father that is providing that money so guys after living together for one year richie proposed to loveless she said yes and was very very happy because her dream to be a muzungu's wife was almost approaching <laughs> guys after the proposal richie wanted to marry loveless right away <laughs> and immediately they started discussing of the wedding preparations they prepared for the wedding 10 people came from Belgium on Richie's side including the father and the mother it was a very very big wedding a luxury one because we know Richie is a rich kid <laughs> oh guys Loveness's dreams of getting married to a white guy came true she got married she was very very happy and their honeymoon they went to Belgium Richie's father paid for that so guys after the honeymoon they returned to Kenya in the same same apartment where they were living before they got married everything was going very very well guys and after six months she got pregnant you know when you get pregnant in the end you have to give birth <laughs> so guys when the pregnancy came to an end she gave birth and it was the twins two boys guys they were both happy to be parents even Richie's parents came, father and mother, to see the grandchildren. <laughs> it was another celebration. They threw another party. These people are rich, guys. Party is not a problem. <laughs> they just do like this and the party happens. So it was a very big party, a very nice party of welcoming the twins. The marriage continued. Everything was going very well. Yes, of course, you can quarrel here and there, but nothing serious, guys because they were understanding each other very very well so even if quarrels happens they solve it and after becoming parents they sat down and discussed that it is better if they start a business a business which will help their family because now they have kids so after discussing and doing a research of what kind of business they should start they came up with the idea of opening up a mini supermarket. So they talked to the dad and the dad agreed, supported them, opened that mini market business in Kenya. So guys, they opened that mini market. It was going very well, but after one year, things started going very bad. It went on a crisis. When it went on a crisis, they started again asking money from Richie's father. Richie's father was like, no Richie, it's enough. I've helped you enough. It is time to stand on your own. You are a father now, you are a husband. You should stand on your own, look for a job, take care of your family. That is why guys, I've been telling you, if you meet a guy, he tells you that I am not working, better not continue a relationship with that guy. No matter that his parents are rich, they can be supporting him now, but how about the future? What will happen? What if God takes those parents? How is he going to live? Or how the two of you going to live? So it's better you date a guy with a job, a responsible man, guys. So after Richie's father talked to him, Richie decided that he should return to Belgium with his family so that he can start his life there, so that he can start afresh in Belgium. And his father told him that if you come here, I'm going to help you find a job. So what they did, they had to sell that mini market because it was doing bad in business. And also guys, Richie had bought Loveness a car, so they talked of selling it, but Loveness said, no, you should leave this car with my mom. So the car was left to Loveness's mom, but the mini market, they sold it and went to Belgium. When they arrived in Belgium, Richie was starting a fresh. Even the apartment that they went to, that apartment, it's the father who paid for him for six months. 
he told him that you are going to stay here in this apartment for six months but after six months i'm not going to continue paying for this apartment you should be standing on your own so guys immediately richie after arriving in belgium he started looking for a job and god was on his side with the help of the father he found a job just a normal job not a job that paid him so much but at least he found a job <laughs> so friends i haven't told you how i came to know loveness i came to know loveness through instagram we could chat once in a while we we're not all that friends and one time i told her about my youtube channel she started watching my videos and there is a video i remember i did i was encouraging lady to move out of toxic relationship she reached out to me and she was like bella i like what you're doing keep doing that keep encouraging ladies not to stay in toxic relationships because in the past before i got married to my husband i was in a toxic relationship we started chatting every day became closer but talking normal things she never told me if she had any problems in her marriage so they stayed in that apartment that the dad paid for for six months and after six months they looked for another apartment and that apartment was richie who was supposed to pay for it and he paid for that apartment but loveness tells us that she did not like that apartment it looked very very cheap and then they started buying the furnitures she did not like the furnitures too because the furnitures were cheap everything in the house she did not like it because things looked very cheap she was kind disappointed we should all remember that this is the same same lady that wanted a muzungu husband <laughs> and most ladies who think of you know that kind of muzungu husband's life they just fantasize think of luxury life <laughs> and all that <laughs> so she got very very disappointed of the life that they were starting to live but that was the real real life of richie guys <laughs> first one year after arriving in belgium and lavne started looking for language school she wanted to go and study dutch and that's where the problem started <laughs> let me sip some juice and sip yours too <laughs> then i'm coming back <laughs> So, Loveness found a language school and started studying Dutch language. As she was in school, she met other Kenyan ladies there and they started being friends. So, she was very, very happy to find friends from her country, you know, speaking the same language. It feels very, very good. I am in the diaspora. I know the feeling, guys. <laughs> so, guys, Loveness tells us that the kind of life that the friends lived was very very different from the life she lived with the husband one of the friends was married to a tycoon a guy who had lots of money so this girl was living her best life and other two friends they were not married yet they were single but the apartments they lived were very very luxurious even the furnitures were so so expensive in those apartments so as they became friends you know there is visiting each other these friends too could go to loveness to visit her and loveness could go and visit them friends talk they started talking they were like this guy seemed very poor loveness was like yes we are just starting life we were in kenya just came here i told you guys so he is trying to build the life we are building the life together but the father is rich is good and is the one that was taking care of him when we we're in kenya so she told them the whole story but these friends were like loveness you're so beautiful i think you can still find another guy that is more richer you can live your best life or even if you leave him you are going to still live the best life because you have kids you're going to receive the help from the government so everything is going to be very fine think about it past like three months without hearing from loveness and one time i checked her I was like hey girl how are you doing it's been long so she was like i am fine but there is something i haven't told you i am no longer married 
guys i was in a shock i thought that maybe she's joking i was like is this a joke she said no it's not a joke i am no longer married my husband started becoming very violent he started smoking weed every weekend he could leave me alone and go see friends i just stay with the kids alone this guy made me like his maid he couldn't do anything in the house and when he goes out smokes weed gets drunk when he comes home he becomes very very violent even in front of the kids i couldn't take it anymore i decided to leave him so i asked loveness where are you now and where are the kids the twins she told me i am with them i took them with me i even called the police on this man he was at work so i decided to leave but i did not want any problems i decided to call the police and tell them everything how he was violent to me left now i am at my friend's place that's where i live right now my friends loves me very much they take care of me and they want the best for me when she told me about being at the friend's place i started suspecting something with everything that she has told me but again i told myself okay let's hope these friends are good friends so guys back to the husband's side when the husband returned home couldn't find the twins couldn't find the wife he called the police and when he called the police they told him that loveness had called them and reported everything they even told him where loveness is so what he did looked for a lawyer and loveness had a lawyer already of course from the government so after talking they agreed that richie will be taking the kids every weekend because richie works during the week and loveness does not work so she will take care of the kids till friday and then friday evening richie will go to pick the twins and that is how it went guys but richie continued convincing loveness please return back home i still want you let us talk let us save our marriage at least for the sake of our kids but loveness refused completely she could call me telling me that this guy is crazy he thinks that i will go back with him a man at his age he does not have even a car he doesn't have a job that pays him very very well return for what a man who was treating me badly he was very very violent with me i'm not going to return back so when she mentioned the guy being violent with her i was like there you are right because returning to a guy who is violent to you is not a good thing but please sit down and try to talk see how you are going to solve any misunderstanding and if he is ready to change then you can give it a try she was like no 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 i want a divorce so guys let's go back to loveness's life at the friend's place how was it like <laughs> her life was really really good she was enjoying life she even entered into the system whereby the government was giving her money to take care of the kids so she was living very well she didn't have any problem i remember one day she called me she was very very excited over the moon guys was telling me bella i think i found a man of my dreams and was like what how did it happen please tell me <laughs> tell me the good news because that's good news i'm so happy for you she was like yes i found a guy he's so cute he's so rich a businessman he has even promised me a job can you imagine that i was like wow she said yes the guy is really really cute he has six packs <laughs> i know you guys are laughing right now but that is how it was <laughs> She was very excited i asked her where did you meet this guy she told me i'll tell you everything as time goes on but i wanted to share this news with you soon i will tell you that i am in milan with him please come meet us because he travels a lot he goes to tokyo he goes to paris madrid new york and he said when he travels for business 
he will be taking me with him so guys loveness was dreaming over the moon guys seeing the stars <laughs> So I told her congratulations, I'm so happy for you. I asked her if they met. She told me, yes, we met here at my friend's place. Everything went very well. We are planning to meet for the second time. So we talked, we laughed, and it ended that day. After something like a week, she called me again. She was like, you know, Bella, I want you to advise me because I know <laughs> you really advise people very well the way I see your videos. I told her, no problem, ask me. So she told me that the guy had traveled to New York, but in his trip to New York for business, he was not available. And when he returned, they planned to meet for the second time the guy was like i am divorced i have kids with my ex-wife so the kids will be with me the next weekend we won't be able to meet so she asked me do you see any problem i told her there is a little problem why was this guy unavailable when he went to new york why because even if yes he's busy he will find time for you he could have sent even a message but he was not available completely so that was a red flag to me and told me they had planned after the kids weekend they're going to meet again when that time arrived the guy was like we should meet at the hotel i told her why meet at the hotel she told me that the guy said there is a renovation at his house they're working at the pool's place lots of things are happening in his house so it won't be a good place for them to meet that is why he prefers to meet her in the hotel i told her why not a restaurant she told me now there is lockdown so we have to meet at the hotel so guys i want to give you a tip if you have started communicating with a guy let it be on online dating apps let it be in real life you fix a meeting and when that meeting is almost approaching this guy brings a lot of excuses you know that the guy is not that interested you should know that because if this guy was that that much interested he couldn't have been like there is a renovation at my house i'll be with my kids this brings me to guys that have kids and take that as an excuse of not talking to you during the weekend Tell you they are busy with the kids it's a lie if a guy really loves you he will send you a message even if the kids are there he will call you even if the kids are there kids has got nothing to do with your relationship so you know that the guy is lying and he might be just playing games with you so i told her to be very careful she even asked me if she should share her goodies when they meet for the second time i know most of you have been asking me bella can i share my goodies <laughs> so she asked too and i told her girl do not share your goodies you don't know this guy's life you haven't met anyone in his family you don't know where he lives so don't share your goodies until you are sure until this guy introduces you to his family some guys can even introduce you to the ex-wife because they've got nothing to lose they have moved on so i told her to make sure that the guy has moved on to make sure that the guy is real to give him the goodies you have to wait take it slow but if you go to that hotel and give your goodies just do it like it is for fun don't put a lot of expectations because if they go bad you will be hurt so that was my advice so guys that weekend arrived and it was like a romantic getaway <laughs> she even posted on instagram later on she came to tell me bella social media i've decided to delete it <laughs> i don't want to be on social media anymore because there is a lot of lies <laughs> so she posted that she has gone on a romantic getaway and they had a spa day after a spa day they went to the hotel when they reached the hotel the guy offered a massage <laughs> and she accepted so he did a massage to her and as he was doing a massage <laughs> she was like bella i couldn't help it i couldn't he did not ask but i gave them goodies <laughs> she gave the goodies guys because she couldn't resist it was too long 
since she gave out her goodies so she wanted it <laughs> to help Bella's advice of not giving the goodies she gave her goodies and after the guy took the goodies told her that you know what do not expect a lot from me I'm not a guy who keeps relationships I'm not into relationships because relationships are very very complicated I am a busy guy but if you wait for me for two years maybe I'll think about it when she told me about that I told her do not waste your time that guy is not interested he is only prolonging but in the end he's gonna dump you be careful shine your eyes <laughs> and past a week it was the next weekend she had went out with her friends to the restaurant when they entered that restaurant saw that guy with a woman and the kids having like you know a family lunch at that restaurant <laughs> the most sad thing is that that guy was kissing a lady which means that the guy was still happily married bella i did not eat anything at that restaurant i only took water i was feeling very very restless left went home and that evening she called the guy the guy was like who are you to spy on me who are you to question me we have a very good relationship with my ex-wife that is why you saw me at that restaurant but i don't want any relationship with you don't you ever call this number again she called me crying was like i am so so sad i don't know why all is happening to me i love this guy very very much i was in love with him i don't know how i am going to move on because i had planned a lot of things in my mind with this guy i told her girl you need to move on and it's time to watch my videos very very well because they are going to help you i see you don't have enough experience on relationships so watch those videos take your time heal and then move on so guys past like two weeks and then she called me she was like bella you won't believe what happened today i was like what is it <laughs> my ex-husband came and guess who he came with he came with this beautiful caucasian girl very younger than me and introduced to me that the girl is a new girlfriend i don't know how men can move on so fast she was complaining saying that the ex-husband moved on so fast and to make matters worse the ex-husband told her that next weekend when i come to take the kids i will bring the divorce papers so she was in a confusion and told me bella i am not okay i'm going to call you tomorrow so the next day she called me and told me bella i want to talk to you because i think i want to return to my ex-husband i don't want a divorce but he told me he will bring the papers to sign for the divorce i don't know what to do and as she was telling me it's like she had realized that she made a very huge mistake to leave that husband and that's when she opened up to me told me that everything that she said was a lie concerning the husband treating her bad concerning the husband smoking weed it was all a lie the only thing is that the husband used to leave her during the weekend go visit friends but i can understand loveness's husband guys he is very young he is still in that stage where friends are so so important it was just a matter of talking to him but she says that she blames the friends because they are the one who encouraged her to leave him saying that he is very poor i told her you did wrong that man was starting their life you could have started life together because you knew it all from the start that the guy does not work and i am advising you dear beautiful ladies if you accept to be with a man you know his condition is like this his job is like this he earns this don't come and want more bigger things that he cannot manage grow with him and you will get those things later on you don't need to be in a hurry or you don't need to break your marriage just because you think the guy is poor better not start that relationship if you know that the guy's life is not what you want or what you can handle so she was like i want to go back i don't know what to do i told her talk to him and see what he will say so she called the husband talk to him but the husband was like i need a divorce i don't need you anymore what you did to me was too much leaving me taking my kids away 
I don't want and I also have an evidence that you are a prostitute you have been selling yourself she was very surprised hearing the husband telling her that she is selling herself she told me Bella my friends advised me that I need to go to the hotels stay there look for rich men so I buy a drink and sit wait for men to enter and see who will come talk to me and that is how I got that guy that dumped me but it's not that I was selling myself it is an advice from my friends even these friends I'm starting to suspect that they wanted bad life for me because all the time when my husband was asking for a forgiveness they could tell me not to agree they could tell me to insult him they could tell me to ignore him all the time they could ask me what is the update did he send a message what is he saying what is your husband saying all the time controlling their communication so she realized that she was wrong but the husband doesn't want to listen to her doesn't want to forgive her told her that i want a divorce and i want to take the kids with me to live with me full custody so guys what is more surprising or shocking i don't know how loveness's husband attained the divorce without loveness signing but one day he came to pick the kids and gave loveness a paper telling her that it is a divorce the papers were stating that it is a divorce the court procedures started for taking the kids do you know what happened guys some ladies can be evil some ladies can be really really bad same same friends that they told her to leave the husband they were same same friends that came to the court to testify that loveness is a prostitute they even recorded her when that guy came to their house to meet loveness so they were monitoring all her moves to come and testify against her in the end guys she lost it lost the kids right now as i am talking she is under the government help but soon she will be deported back to kenya and guys i know some of you want to know what kind of dating app they met they met on afro introduction but this story went really really bad let's be very careful with friends i told you one time i did a video and i was telling you dear beautiful ladies if you are in a relationship with a white guy you get married or you're still in a relationship be very careful with people you ask advice be very careful with people you talk to about your relationships because not everyone will want you happy and in your relationship guys you can talk to bella you can talk i don't know to your friend but it's you that is living that life it's you that understands very very well your relationship so sometimes use your sense think good decide good make good choices please please dear beautiful ladies my last last advice for today guys about this story please if you are dating a guy he is divorced he is young starting his life afresh you accept to be with him you accept to be with him you get married to him you should accept his life please understand the life of the guy you are dating understand the life of the guy you want to marry dear friends i understand my videos can be really really long but i try my best to tell you the story in details so that you can learn my intention is for you to learn don't make same mistake by watching my videos something changes in your life if you've been thinking a different way now you think the right way thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate you much be blessed if you have liked this video or this story give it a thumbs up share it to your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this story i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao